in the night and you ask darling won't you and he goes like oh i'm all right i took some at the office you want to fight hey, if i took some some food and i'm, I'm taking some other food is it is it any is it any ah sometimes you have to pardon us more now they're boys Dang. you see i'm a boy so i know what i'm talking about sometimes we boys we can be very stupid do you know why imagine your girlfriend comes to visit you at night she stays over it's like 12 she's like she wants to be like oh but you just came ah you or oh, what uh, if you go i miss you it's 12 2 3 a.m they are going to escort your girl knowing that the path that leads to her house is very dangerous you might be attacked oh but you are working with a girl superpower so as you are going here they do oh aren't you afraid can you come along oh, ah, what's nothing what's it? and then they get to the house they don't leave home i'll miss you come come <laughs> forgetting it is little now the lady has finally entered they stand look at their path Then check this out. Oh, come in, who did Miss Furo. And then as you are going, you hear a sound, crack, crack. Miss Furo. Why? Please, what, one minute. Hello? What? Eh? This is serious. Hello? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, please, um, this is an announcement from the Ghana Meteorological Services. Um, they are saying they are on strike. So, no weather. <laughs> so, um, I mean, just thank God. My uncle is the uh, manager, so he, uh, he happens to he taught me some of what they do so they have asked me to give you the weather report for the next how long they'll be in strike so please i need a lady volunteer to 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 yeah um, can i get one or should i come and pick it's gently Gently. <laughs> Thank you. And yes, oh. <sighs> All right. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ignatius Octavius Romanus, and um, this is going to be the weather forecast for the next how long the meteorological services are going to be on strike. As you can see from the map, um, <clears throat> The northern sector will be partly cloudy with a few um, misty conditions here and there. The hilly and rocky areas. Will be partly humid with a few raindrops. Please, um. There's a... <laughs> The rocky and marshy areas will be partly condemned with a few heavy bomb blasts here and there. Uh, please, can you? Um, the coastal and forest zones will be very cloudy with heavy thunderstorms. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Ghana Beauty Pageant, the mother of all pageants in Ghana. And I'm coming in with a song you are sitting down looking at me as if you are waiting for something to happen. Goodness me. DJ, let's do it again. I want all of us to be involved. Hey, good day. Let's start. It's heartwarming 
Okay, seeing all these beautiful ladies coming on stage, walking and just twisting and turning. It brings back a lot of memories. Those times when I used to be at Legon. I remember I emceed a pageant like that once. Moments before the pageant started, one of the girls was sitting backstage eating and pickle, drinking, eating meat pie. I walked up to her and I said, are you aware that as a performer or as a show person, you are not supposed to eat or drink anything solid or anything, you know, quite heavy. Two clear hours before the show starts. She said, but, but I'm hungry. I said, okay. When it got to her turn, when all the ladies were just twisting and turning, watch the way she was coming. <laughs> Wami. She stood there. The first judge looked at her. You are looking outstanding. She said, uh, thank you. It was time for their talent. So the judge asked her, so what do you think your talent is? Listen. My talent is female genital mutilation. Our <laughs> talent is female genital mutilation. I want you to do something for me. Now I shall hope. Most of you don't know. We're in the same school together. When I was in class six, she was in form three. Did you know? Did you know? I'm happy to announce to you, ladies and gentlemen, that I progressed from class six and still met her sitting in form three. I hear she is now acting movies. Now, if you are hearing me, your headmaster says that your final paper is still waiting for you. Come and write it. Before they will release your certificate. I beg. That's the first one. Second, now was very, very religious. I mean, I'm talking about that kind of religious girl you meet going to your classroom in the morning. You greet, oh, hi, Stella, how are you? And she goes, Cabot and Hunters. My name is Anton. Serious, I had a crush on her. You know, I'm telling you the story. I had a crush on her. And she's that kind of person you will propose to her and she go like, well, if the Lord permits. Serious. What happened? One day, she kept twisting and turning, tossing me around. And I managed to corner her under one tree on the compound. She didn't know. One of my friends I had had the beat with was hiding on top of the tree. So I started, now, nah, um, you know, you've been turning me around. I mean, come on. I, I want us to get to know each other, all right? I mean, she said, well, that's not a problem. I mean, only if the Lord permits. My friend of shouted, I, the Lord, I permit. <laughs> now, in her mind, that was God talking. So she said, okay. I said, oh, okay. But now, after we become, you know, that close and um, you have given me a chance to know you, I, I want us to become very, very intimate, you know. You understand what I'm saying? Very intimate. She said, well, that is really not a problem. Only if the Lord permits. As usual. My friend who, I, the Lord, I permit. And then I proceeded. Now, now, after we become that intimate, okay, I want us to start doing things like couples, you know, sandwiching ourselves and, you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> now I said, well, that is even not a problem, only if the Lord permits. Now, at this time, I was expecting my friend to bail me out. Guess what? He shouted, as for this one, I, the Lord, will do it myself. <laughs> when the Lord bailed out, I understood why I was so The Lord on top of the tree. I noticed that most of you Ghanaian women like telling novellas. I mean, it's like an addiction, right? You, you are so addicted to it, it's like a medicine. If you don't get it, come on, something will happen to you. I know there are those who like it, but there are those who are so addicted to it. If you are one of them, show my hand. Liars. All of them. They will show. So addicted, I'm telling you. They know the ten novellas from the day it started, from the days of Akapuko Bay, all through the recent one. Recently, I saw one, and what? Korean Superfra. Come on. And the tendency is that when you walk up to one of these ladies and you try to propose to her, in their minds, they start comparing you to Eduardo and Fernando and Fernando and all of those. Meanwhile, the influences in the environment within which Kweku, Kabana, Kweju, and Kofi live is quite different. She will tell her friends, this, this, this guy is not romantic at all, eh? 
See the way Eden works. Suddenly look at the world, you just go and pluck the rose and go and give it to the girl like that. How many rose flowers do we have around here? Have you seen any? Okay. Well, you know, she's not romantic at all. We will tell the girls, I mean, her girlfriends. And we just come in, you know. Look at the way everyone will come with the puppy, the puppy hiding inside the jacket. Eh? And you will just surprise the girl by bringing the puppy out. Is it a puppy you want? Ghana, we don't have puppies. The ones I've been seeing are the ones in the 37 traffic. Those ones they will tell you, oh, brah, wait, Rottweiler, the back. Uh, buy it two months down the line, it will slow down. And the ears will start fighting for recognition. And talking about dogs, have you wondered why there's so much disparity between rich dogs and poor dogs? Think about it. Sometimes their names alone is enough to scare all our brothers. <laughs> Tiger! Hey! And you're going back. But oh, seriously, some of them eat dinner for every morning. Me, I don't eat dinner every morning. But compare such dogs to the dogs from my area. When you see the dogs, first and foremost, do you understand why they are giving such names? Very horrific names, poverty sticky names. You hear? Kuma se jongko. Kwame and Chin and Daniel. The one that blew me up recently. I went to my friend's house, next door neighbor. And he called the dog. Call me. Ah, credit cards, brah. Now, hold on. When the dog popped out, I understood why it was being called credit cards. It was just Galibasin and coming. And it was standing to one side. As if it was not, it was not. It was hungry. Now. Thank you, thank you. Let me go to the story. You see these dogs. Normally, when they see strangers, they are supposed to bark, right? Forget it. When the dog sees a thief, he will rather be calling the thief than showing the thief where the items are. Have you seen the TV? Yes, go. And I the money is there, eh? I'm on the I don't give you chop for his headset. Serious. And if you don't, catch, catch! You'll be doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what you're Those words, those noises are non verbal statements, but they mean something. What's the other chance? Catch! And he goes, oh. In his mind, in the dog's mind, he is saying, You are not serious. <laughs> you have not fed me since morning. You are here telling me, Catch! Catch! I will bite you right now, you will see your father. That is credit card for you. And that's not a lot about this fact that you know sometimes when you have a group of friends, like guys, okay, and you always try to be domineering, chances are that they'll be afraid of you. I was in a group like that with four guys, so myself, the four making fight. Back in the days when I was growing up, we used to go to our next door neighbor's house to go and start the fight. And one of the days, a young, short, small boy whipped me, prasa, eh? Now, that kind of whipping I'm talking about is the kind of whipping when you are whipped and you are disgraced in front of your friends. In your mind, you are telling yourself, come on, I can't cry. How can I cry in front of them? I was going to lose my dominance. Yet, your face will be giving you up. Serious. You beat me. In your mind, you are telling yourself, I won't cry, but in your face. And at this point, cameraman, I want you to zoom into my face because this kind of comedy is based on the face. I'm standing there thinking to myself, I'm not going to cry. Yet my face was already betraying me. Watch. <laughs> that is the kind of thing I'm talking about. The next thing I like to speak about. Have you wondered? Sometimes when I see. TV adverts, Ghanaian made TV adverts. There's one that's running. Four gentlemen walk into a house, they knock, somebody pop out, and they start demanding for food. We want food. We want food. Have you said it? Now, come, come, let's, let's analyze it. How realistic is that? How many homes can you go to? Knock, and when people pop out, you start demanding for food. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's maybe improbable, but it's not impossible. But don't come and turn that thing in my house. Bro. First, if you come and you do that, they will tell you, you want food. Really? He said, wait, I'm coming. <laughs> do you know what is this? Huh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I can 
this is a white woman around here, let me just talk to you. Madam, I better go. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, come on, let me put you in the middle. But, uh, I'm going to ask this lady whether she knows what I'm holding. She's like a Ghanaian foreigner. I don't know whether she's Ghanaian or she's foreigner. I've heard her speaking G before, honestly. Uh, but, do you know what this is? You do? Okay, for the benefit of those of you who do not know, the foreigners, I'm going to describe this thing to you. This, that holding here, is a simple technological device invented in Africa. It's a dewormer as well as <laughs> as well as a feeding bottle. Okay. Now the only thing is that you don't feed the contents of this thing through the mouth. You feed it through somewhere else, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So are you ready?